This video is for a pastor's or a Christian wife. It's for someone that beat up on yourself often. And the reason why is because you make mistakes. This video is great for someone that's a perfectionist like myself. Because you are a pastor's wife, you are a leader. And the best way to lead is by being an example. But that can also be kind of stressful if you allow it. We all make mistakes. For example, I consider myself as a good wife and a mom and also as a homemaker. But even though I am good in those areas, every so often I do fail. And what I notice is that whenever I do fail in those areas, the enemy brings it to my attention and he tries to discourage me. I know now that that's just a trick of the enemy. And one thing that I have learned too, anytime the enemy tried to get me to stop doing something positive, I've learned to tune him out and don't pay him any attention. One thing I have noticed is that every time I start creating content about a particular area, about being a good wife, being a good mom, being a good stepmom. Those are the areas that the enemy tried to attack me in. And if I failed, I start feeling bad about it. And the first thing that comes to my mind is that you need to stop teaching about this for a while until you have perfected that area. But now I know that that's just a trick of the enemy because I also know that in order to help someone in an area, you don't have to be perfect. A lot of people that teach or preach, they're not perfect, but they keep on and they don't let it stop them. And the reason why is because from the fact that they know that we are clean through the word. Be honest. We all have been through different things in our lives. And ever so often we have the opportunity to where someone comes up to us and they need our advice about something personal that they are going through. So when someone tell you about some difficulties that they are experiencing and they need your help, be honest. If you have experienced that same thing, let them know that you have. That way they won't feel like they are the only one or it won't make them feel bad. The main thing I think that's good about being honest is that it helps you to where you won't be a hypocrite and also self-righteous. For example, someone may be struggling with a type of sexual sin and that person needs someone to talk to about it. So instead of you making them feel bad, or try to condemn them, that will be a great time to where if you experience the same thing, you let them know it. And the reason why you want to let them know it, because that is, it can be a testimony for you to help them and to let them know that God can deliver them the same way he delivered you from that. I do know that we don't live in our past, but sometimes certain things that you went through in your past it's good to remember it. And the reason why is because it helps you to have sympathy for that person that's going through the same thing. And it also helps you to be compassionate. One of the worst things you can do when someone comes to you for help is try to make them feel bad or try to make them feel shameful. A person can connect with you more if they know that you have experienced and struggled with the same thing. Have compassion. A lot of times as a caregiver, we have compassion for others. We have patience with others. We don't criticize others, but we are not kind to ourselves. And that's one of the main things that I am working on now is that I need to learn how to show myself some kindness, to be merciful to myself, and to also know that the areas in my life that I am weak at if I try to do my best, God will eventually give me strength in those areas. In the Bible, he tells us that in areas that we are weak at, that's when he's strong. So one of the main things to do is to show yourself some mercy. No one is perfect, but God. As Christians, we are striving to be. 
And while we are striving, God will give us strength. Where will we get? We all have flaws. But the main thing is to try to improve yourself slowly. And God will give you the strength to overcome it. Show yourself some grace. And don't forget to show others. We are sinners saved by grace. I have a question for you. Do you try to be perfect? And I also would like to know, are you hard on yourself? If you like my message and you want to support me, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you will be notified. I have a Facebook group called Chats with Flo, and I would love it if you would come and join. Thank you for tuning in to Chats with Flo. Bye.